Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to talk about the open access journals. So uh, we will see what are the what is uh, open access journals, what are the different types of open access journals, and how we are going to uh, call it in different types. Probably whenever you are going to submit or see the any open access journals, you might have seen different types of open access uh, categories like gold open access, platinum open access, hybrid journals. So we will see all those things. So first, let us understand what is open access journals. An open access journal is an scholarly publications that makes an article freely available to the public without any subscription or payment barriers. Means for the readers, yeah, those who are going to download it, those who are going to read it, for them, they don't have to pay, pay any subscription. So these such type of articles, such type of journals are free from any kind of subscription. So if you will see the journals, normally we can categorize these journals into two uh, main category. It is subscription based where for readers, uh, if you want to read it, if you want to download some articles, you have to pay, you have to purchase subscription. So that is called a subscription based journals. And second one is called as open access journals where it is freely available for the downloading or for reading. In case of open access journals, we are having two types. It may be APC based where the author had to pay uh, the publication charge that is called as APC article processing charge or in some cases no APC will be applicable even though it is open access journal so it is free open access journal so broadly we are having two categories one is traditional academic publications publishings where research article is often restricted for those who have paid the subscription or the access fee that is falling under the subscription based journals Second one is open access journals, which removes such type of barriers and provides the unrestricted access to the content online to anyone. This open access journals, normally it allows anyone to read, download, copy, distribute and use these articles without any financial or legal restrictions. Means anyone can read it, anyone can download it n number of times, copy it, distribute it and use those articles for any places. Means even figures you can use it. Men, if you see the primary, uh, why, what is the uh, open access and uh, what are the primary goal of these open access journals? So it normally promotes the uh, dissemination of knowledge and research findings. It also ensures that the results of the academic research are accessible to everyone. Means because normally, uh, if you see the research, it should be publishable. All the research, whatever we are doing, it needs a proper publication. It should be documented and documentation should be available for everyone. So if restrictions will be there, subscription will be there, it will, everyone will not have the access. So in that case, it is freely available to everyone. So including researchers, students, policymakers and general public. By removing the access restrictions, open access journals aim to foster the global collaborations, advance scientific knowledge and accelerate the progress of research in different fields. Uh, in this case, there are some uh, th information we need to understand about the copyright, in, especially in case of open access journal, open access publications. So the authors who are going to publish their work in any open access journals, they retain their copyright ownership of the articles. So in this case, in case of open access journals, normally copyright of our articles, this, uh, it will be available with the authors only and the articles are typically published under the license that allow users to read, download, copy, distribute, reuse the content as long as proper attribution is given to the original sources. And all these publications uses a common license uh, for open access that is called a Creative Common Attribution License CCBY. Maybe many of the journals you might have read, uh, open access journals you might have written seen that this CCBY will be written there. This is called as Creative Common Attribution License, which permits the broadest range of reuse possibilities. Now, why articles charges their article processing charges? So, article journals normally uh, sus to sustain their operations, uh, open access journals charges article processing charge, that is called as APC uh, abbreviations uh, from the authors upon their acceptance. These charges are normally covers the cost of the peer review process, editorial processes, typesetting, hosting, maintenance of the journal's website, 
because for this they require the different IT services, they require the manpower, number of things are there. So APC charges goes for all these purposes. In some case, these funding, uh, there are a number of funding agencies or some of the institutions, some of the universities covers these fee. Uh, so it is in place of authors, normally institutions, funding agencies or universities are going to pay the APC charges. Why no APC charges? Uh, there are some journals, some, I have already told you there are some open access journals which does not ask any money from the authors also. So it is important to know that not all open access journals charges APC. Some open access journals operates for alternative funding models, means they are having an alternative source of funding, such as institutional supports, they may have some grants or they may have voluntary contributions. Additionally, some open access journals are affiliated with the universities, research institutions or organizations which dedicated to promoting the open science and knowledge sharing. So that's why uh, where such type of fundings are available, those journals are does not ask any kind of APC charges from any of the authors. Now if you see the what are the different types of open access journals. So they have six different types of open access journals. They are having gold open access, green open access, hybrid open access, diamond open access or open diamond op access, bronze open access, platinum open access. What are the, these uh, six different types? So first, let us understand about the gold open access journals. What are these gold open access journals? In this model, the entire content of the journal is freely available to the reader from the moment of its publications. As soon as the article is going to be published, the content will be available for anyone to read it. This means anyone can access, read the research article without any paywall or any kind of subscription requirement. In this case, Normally, authors are going to pay their APC charges to cover the cost of publications and maintenance of the journals. These gold open access journals are most sustainable because they don't rely on the subscription or any other kind of source of funding. Because funding comes from the authors, so normally every time journals have sufficient amount of fund, so these are more sustainable uh, way of publications. These charges vary depending on the journals, their standards, their quartiles, their impact factors. Uh, and can sometimes be covered by the institutions or funding agency also. And most of the journals uh, which is falling in this category, they are having creating common license that CC BY I just now have sold you. So it means they are freely shareable or reusable. So what is the process? Normally uh, after the research, manuscript is going to be submitted to the open access journals and it will be peer reviewed by peers, manuscript accepted for publications author retain the copyright and grant uh, publisher license to publish then authors may be required to pay the apc charges as a after that one uh, published version of article immediately accessible to the public and public granted reuse right under the open access license and then accelerated scientific and progress and more citation more accessibility will be there second is green open access journals these are also known as self archiving in this model, this allow authors to deposit their pre-print print versions, means before the acceptance, whatever uh, content will be there, paper will be there just after submission, that is called a pre-print version. Or post-print version, means after the final accept version, which is after the acceptance, in a public accessible re repository. What are these repositories are? Sometimes these repositories are at the institution level or science-specific archives or central platforms like archives for physics or permit central for life sciences. So in this case, authors to deposit their preprint or postprint uh, journal articles into these repositories. The key features of green open access is that it allow authors to make their research freely available to the public, even if the final version uh, is published in a subscription based journal. So the journal which is green open access journals, so even journal is subscription based, but in those cases also, the articles can be freely available for the public. This means these articles are made freely available after the embargo period. So there will be certain period will be there till that period, then papers will not be accessible. It will be um, in subscription based. After that embargo period, it will be open access for everyone. So this is the process of green open access journal. Uh, then we are having hybrid open access. In case of hybrid open access, this model is combination of both traditional subscription based 
publishing or open access in hybrid journal some articles are freely accessible which is open access where uh, author is going to pay or some are requiring the subscription authors who wish to make their individual article open access within a hybrid journals have to pay the apc to the publisher this option allow authors to comply with funding agency requirement or to ensure their work reaches to the broader audience whenever i want my research to reach to the maximum people that time if i will have money i will pay the apc and i will go for open access publications it has been subject to some criticism due to uh, double dipping means it is having both type of options next is diamond open or diamond uh, open diamond so the diamond open access model refers to the journal that are entirely free for both readers and authors such journals does not have a charging costing any kind of apc or nor they do have any kind of subscription so no apc no subscription in a state they are typically supported by some institutions some universities or research funding bodies or government grants means they are having some other funding sources so neither they have apc applicable nor they are going to uh, have subscription based so diamond open access journals aim to uh, democratize access to research without imposing any financial barrier to an author or to a reader while they may have lower publication volumes compared to some other models they are instrumental in promoting science because they are freely for author free for authors as well as the readers next we are having bronze open access bronze open access is not widely recognized category as it sometimes used informally to describe journals that make a subset of the content freely available means either some issue will be freely available or some specific article will be freely available or some specific content will be freely available so this may include some selected articles a specific issue or limited number of papers within an otherwise subscription based journal journals adopting this model may offer a, a small portion of their content as open access to increase visibility and attract potential author and reader however it is essential to ensure that bronze open access journal provides clear information about which articles are freely accessible or which are under the subscription based and then we are having platinum open access it is very similar to the diamond open access journals uh, in terms uh, the term platinum open access is used interchangeably to describe journals that are entirely free for both readers and authors there is no requirement of authors to pay apc and the journals cost are covered through other means such as institutional support or grants as with diamond open access journal platinum open access journals play a vital role in promoting unrestricted access to the scholarly knowledge and facilitating the global collaborations among the researchers so these are the total six different types of open access category of journals and there if you will see uh, these are the uh, normally on journals you can see this type of symbols and this is closed and subscription based so log means this is the closed means it is subscription based journal uh, then we are having bronze this is the open access uh, wherever so these are all open access types where we are having bronze type uh, hybrid type gold type uh, diamond type or green type so these are the normally you can see these symbols on the journals home page uh, wherever you can so this is all about the open access category of the journals what is the open access types and why journals asking for apc and what are the different category so hope you have understand it uh, if you have any query you can write in the comment box if you like the video press the like button if you are not subscribed my channel yet you can subscribe it thank you very much have a nice day